Welcome to the Gorilla's 15 minute Amazon training series. Grab a pen and paper so you can take some notes. I think you're going to hear some great information in the next 15 minutes and you'll want to keep it for later. While you're getting your pen and paper, I want to share with you a pretty cool opportunity. I'm involved in a group of new Amazon sellers that just started their business or have launched their first or second product. We've been meeting weekly online for over a year. We share knowledge, support, and resources with each other, like great inspection companies, trusted suppliers, photographers, and great freight forwarders. We share product picking strategies, marketing plans, products that can be launched without a ton of reviews. We're adding a small number of people that are action takers and are serious about launching products right away. More than 100 of us have launched products already. Imagine being able to ask questions and get answers to the information you need to be a successful Amazon business owner while you're navigating the seller's jungle. You don't need to have any real experience, just a sincere desire to participate and launch a product. Click the link below and let's get to know each other and see if you're a good fit for the group. I'll send you an invite to come to a couple of meetings. Let's get started. I hope you find something in the next 15 minutes that'll help you become a successful seller. In this episode, we're gonna to talk to the developer of Amosuite, Chris Guthrie, about a suite of four software products, the Top 100 Analyzer, Product Finder, Review Finder, and Keyword Finder. In part one, Chris shows us how to find great products to sell with the Top 100 Analyzer software. If you're inter interested in more free training, visit our website at 123amazon.net. Let's get to talking to Chris. Your background, Chris, like how you got involved and how Amosuite kind of developed and got you to um, where you're at now. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll try and give the shorter version. And the shorter version is I, I wasn't always doing Amazon seller stuff. I was originally doing uh, Amazon affiliate stuff. And so way back in 2009, late 2009, I lost my job. And my Amazon affiliate earnings had surpassed my day job. So I said, okay, well, I'm not going to qualify for unemployment. And this is, this is going all right. I've been working on it on the side for a while. So I'm going to do this full time. And that was you know, almost six years ago now and been doing different stuff ever since. And then about uh, February 2012 is when we released the first version of Amosuite. And then we've kind of added new versions as we've gone along. And then the most recent one uh, in late 2012. 14 and then early 2015 is when we kind of publicly released it. So, so that's kind of how, like the, how, and then the most recent version where we added in all these features to help you find products to sell on Amazon is based on uh, about a year ago or so. Now I started selling on Amazon as well and thought, Hey, these are, this is, we already have this software that uh, helps with the affiliate side. Let's add some other features in there and it will help for sellers. And so that's kind of how it, how it evolved. Yeah. So this is the top 100 analyzer. Yeah, I know you're very familiar with the program, but for people that are watching that, that aren't, uh, it, it, we basically, this is designed from the standpoint of, if you have no idea what it is you'd like to sell, this is a good starting point. So that's kind of the way I like to frame the discussion. And so the way I like to do it is, you know, you can, you select the site, you can do .com and .co.uk, and there's different data sources you can pick. And so these actually correlate to areas on Amazon, like hot new releases is an, a section you can find on Amazon, movers and shakers, top rated, et cetera, uh, most wished for, most gifted. And these, you can find some ideas in here as well. But what I like to do is just use the best seller data source. Another thing you can do too, is you can select this extract more data option. So what this will do is it actually pulls the other information in at the same time. Um, but I don't really like to do that. I like to just uh, leave that and then do it later. Do you know why I don't do it then? And do you know why I don't, I mean, why I don't do it then is because if I filter out price and reviews before I do that, I get to the answer quicker. Does that make sense? Because I filter out a bunch of stuff that I know isn't in the price category. So once I do that initial take, what I do is that then I'll go in and filter price and reviews. You know, I want a product between 10 and $15 and I want products less than 500 reviews. Yeah. And then once I do that and I filter that, then I go get more data then because, um, you know, it doesn't take as long to get all that data out because I've eliminated a bunch of stuff I don't need. Exactly, right? So that's, that's very similar to the way that I do it. Um, when I demo, I show kind of a different way, but uh, 
So this is given an example, right? So this is an example I've used a lot in, it's in the Amosuite videos that we do for people as well. And it's, uh, let me find, yeah. Uh, it's a barbecue grill brush, right? So let's just get down into these different categories here. Uh, cleaning and maintenance tools. And then these three categories here. So what you're basically doing is you're, you're diving into these subcategories in Amazon, right? Because the top main top level categories is patio, lawn, and garden, for example. That's where there's a lot more competition because those are top 100 products, right? So these are people that oftentimes have had their listings for, for years or they've spent a lot of money to get to that point, right? Through promotion or, or whatever it might be. And so what you're doing with the top one analyzers, you're going into subcategories below the primary category so that you can find products that aren't as competitive. And so then I just kind of run this. And this is just three categories, but you can add you know, as many as you wanted, of course. And so it pulls in all this data uh, very quickly. What about real quick on, so what's the reason, and I always use the uh, select, but when you quick select, what was the difference in, why was that button there if it's just, if it, cause it makes more sense to obviously shop by category cause I can delve down quicker. Was that just maybe, what was that purpose? Cause people obviously we don't use it all the time. Yeah, the quick select was something that we had um, earlier because it was just something that, that some people like to be able to just pick a category like patio lawn and gardens and then, but this only gives the first top level. Right, uh, that's what I was saying. So you obviously want to go into the manual select so you can get down in there. Exactly, right. Okay, so I was just seeing if there was something I missed in there because I never use it that way and that's what I was asking. Exactly, right. And so these are, this is kind of a thing where, you know, we had this in the original Amosuite version and then two and three. And then it became more clear as Amazon sellers, we don't want to target, at least initially, the super competitive things because there's just too much you know, competition there. Right. Uh, and so, so this is like the first step, right? Is I go through these different categories and then and th from here, you know, I'm going to look at, um, there's a few different ways that you can do it, right? The way I like to do it is I like to actually pick a lot of categories at once and then just click to get more data and just kind of let it run. So it's one of those things that I'll do maybe while I'm watching TV or some other thing that I don't need to focus as right. much on. And and then so that's what I'll do, right? Is I'll just click to get more data and then that's what pulls in. And I'm sure you've told people this before, but this is what pulls in the, the main rank so you can see right. what the best seller rank is of that product at this time. And then also pulls in the other information like the weight, um, how it ships, the total number of offers. And then this information just gives you uh, more of a picture about what that product, uh, how that product is being sold and, and whether or not something you'd like to sell. For example, one of the common suggestions people have, which I guess would be another reason why maybe doing the opposite could be a strategy as well. But one of the common suggestions is to go after lighter weight items because they're easier to ship uh, via air as opposed to sea shipping. And so here you can very quickly see, okay, these are lower, uh, lower weight items. This is a little bit heavier. And then, you know, if we're doing things in a very specific category on Amazon, that's related to barbecue grill maintenance. So we're going to most likely just find lower weight items. Uh, but here's one that's, you know, 16 and a half pounds, right? So this is something that, um, if you were to sell something like that, you have to, to keep that in mind. Um, but so let this, you know, you let this run. And you know it's going to show you total number of offers. The and then that will show you. Okay, is this something that a lot of people are selling, or is it something that only one person is selling? Uh, and then additionally, too, you can see the reviews. And so the reviews are a good indicator as well. Come back to so when you say total number of offers, so you're saying that so if that guy's that means there's 17 people listed under that listing. Exactly. <laughs> And so sometimes it'll be, you know, there's two here. So yeah. that might be your listing and or this person's listing and then a warehouse deal for that listing where it was a return. And yeah. so it's listed twice and it's, you know, it's still a private label product. Okay. Uh, and so that comes into play sometimes too. Uh, and even too, like this one here, for example, it might still be private label, but that's when you can just click this and, and check it out. Okay. Uh, and so that's really the bulk of how, you know, I'll use it as all, all, and, and the thing too, that, that I suggest is, and, and this is probably something you do as well is when you first start, uh, once you find a category that you, that you like, whatever it may be, say it's patio, lawn and garden, you kind of want to stay there at least initially 
unless, for example, your product doesn't sell as well as you'd like to, and you'd like to try and branch out into something else. But right. I like to plant my flag, so to speak, and then just kind of branch out from there, conquer new territories, I guess, as in that category. And so once you've picked your first category, then this process is a lot easier because then it's just, okay, let me pick every subcategory within that patio lawn and garden area and look at every product. And then you can just have a total overall picture of a big subsection of the products they're selling within that area. And so that's kind of the next, next step I go and I'm looking for new things to sell. And then in those cases, you know, you can look at you know, what are the reviews, the average rating, and then kind of decide a bit more into that. And then of course you can add filters to, to make it easier. So you could do, you know, main rank that's less than 2000 and um, main rank that would be greater than 500, right? Right. So you can do it this way. And I use main rank because, uh, so yeah, this in here. So it'd be like this, and then you can apply it. But the reason why I use uh, main rank is because the rank here is actually the rank within the subcategory. So this that's why we have that in, in that section as well. Just so you know, okay, this is the number one product within a subcategory. And then you come down here further, okay. and, and here's the number one product in the other sub subcategory that you've added. Uh, okay. And so that's kind of how it goes through. And so that's why you'll see as you kind of scroll down until you, you know, if you start filtering right away, you'll you'll see the results will be different. But uh, yeah, if you sort it just by by rank like this, you're gonna find near the top more reviews for a lot of these products because they're the top selling product within their subcategory. So like these three people here probably all have bestseller badges on their on their listings, and those can massively help with conversions as well. Um, on on your weight, because I I mean I know that it, it, if how does it convert? Just to make sure, I want to make sure that everybody knows how that converts when you're doing a filter on weight. Can you show us? Because if it's six point, it does it break it down by the ounce? Because I know I can put in less than one and it counts pounds. How does it know the difference? So to be honest, for the the weight, that's something that we added like as an additional feature after we originally you know pushed it out right some people are like hey let's let's add weight uh and so we did that but for the most part i don't even ever bother with filtering weight because what i'll do is i'll just filter it by yeah you know, just doing this ah uh, okay i'll just click that and then it'll naturally filter uh, and then also just saves time for having to actually do it okay and so yeah i guess it's a put it's set up in the you know and once you if you extract all the data then it would then it would show everything but right i didn't run the whole thing but uh then you have you know Okay, here's here's as I go. And actually, Alex looks like the it looks like the filter's not, or the, it's not working correct correctly right now because of the it's showing pound ounces, but it does that. Is, but I, somehow it figures it out because I, I go check it, and that's odd. Like maybe maybe um, Dave figured it out how to do it. I don't know, but like <laughs> see, it it does it goes back and forth. It goes by pounds and ounces. Like it knows. So, yeah, I don't know. And, and so that's, and that, I mean, that's one of those things where it's potentially, we just need to, to add that. Um, it's one of those things where as we've added to this tool and, and, and improved it over time, of course, you know, if we didn't have a weight column then we wouldn't have, you know, potential issue in that column, but, but, it's, but in I mean, general, the data then is helpful for people. So. Listen, I, I think that's yeah. probably one of the, the biggest benefits is I watched it happen. Cause I was telling some the other day I was doing a walkthrough on another computer. I think I even told you this, I was doing a walkthrough and there was no weight in there. And I'm like, really? I don't even remember it not ever having weight, but so, you know, it didn't have weight in it. So, you know, when you're talking to people about what this, what they should be shipping to me, again, one of the big things is to be able to filter. And if I don't want to have anything over a pound, you know, I mean, it's a great way just to get it quick and get it out. Hard because you know, there's not really a lot of scientific evidence that you can point to when it comes to ranking indicators for Amazon. You can only kind of see what people, some people are saying, and then people that figure stuff out they don't really like to share, obviously. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's I've noticed that when you add um, child items to a, a total listing, so there's multiple different variants, uh, it just seems like it sells better because. Maybe people think it's more professional. There's more options. 
Uh, and so, yeah, if you do giveaway of your, of your single, and then you're still selling a double and a triple or a quadruple, whatever on, on that same listing, then you're able to benefit from that review, helping the other ones as well, but don't have to give away as many units. Is that I can't copy your listing because if exactly. I do a double in there and it's two separate products, there's no way that they can, you can't, you can't, cause you can't sell that product cause you don't have both of them. Yeah, so exactly. A great way to what I call a gorilla's, uh, a white label, which is just <laughs> together that you can't copy. And now all of a sudden you've got your own private label at that point or do bundles that of multiples of products. So I hope you enjoyed this gorilla's 15 minute boot camp. If you'd like to receive a special hundred dollar discount and 30 minutes of personal training, how to use the Amazon suite software, click the link or visit our website at one, two, three, amazon.net. Make sure you subscribe to the Amazon Gorillas YouTube for tons more free 15 minute training. If you'll give me one more minute, I'd like to share with you a free webinar that the Gorillas are hosting. Free webinar, how to find a product to sell on Amazon's FBA partnering program that allows virtually anyone to sell their products to their 250 million customers. We're gonna teach you 30 specific attributes of winning products and we'll share the Amazon Gorilla seven step success strategy. This webinar will give you the confidence to start your own online Amazon business. If you're confused or overwhelmed by the Amazon information jungle, this webinar is for you. We're gonna help you take the fear you have about picking a product away. You'll learn the 30 specific attributes that great products have in common and you'll find out what products to avoid and what products have too much competition or too little competition. We're gonna show you how to find weak competitors and great opportunity. Just for coming to the webinar, we're gonna give you a free copy of our Super Product Selector. It's a product evaluation tool that will become invaluable and help you finally start your online Amazon business. Click the link below and register for this informative and possibly life-changing webinar. You can start a successful online Amazon business with the help of this free webinar. Take action and change your financial future.